dear students welcome to our online class brought to you by silat online school this is jewel chakraborty assistant teacher english government sc girls high school sunamganj today i shall concentrate on a very important topic and that is changing sentence this topic is very much common from the students of class 6 to hsc level actually changing sentence can be done in two very ways one is conversion and the other is transformation transfer mention okay as we are the students of secondary level that means 6 to students of class 9 and 10 it is it is wiser for us if we do transformation if we prefer transformation not conversion the conversion actually conversion will be done by the students of primary section so far my knowledge goes so we will today change our sentences according to the rules of transformation not according to the rules of conversion actually the difference between conversion and transformation is in conversion you can change the meaning of a sentence while you are changing it one form into another but in transformation you cannot change the meaning so whether it is mentioned in your question paper or not as the secondary students as you are the secondary students students of secondary level so i think it would be safer for you if you change it according to the rules of transformation so today we will do our task according to the rules of transformation so the name of the topic can be given changing or transfer mention okay now changing or transformation has so many steps or so many parts i shall conduct my class according to my knowledge or my style so let's go to our class formally step 1 step 1 here we will find assertive number 2 imperative assertive imperative interrogative optative and finally exclamatory okay exclamatory step 1 let's go to step 2 step 2 simple complex and finally compound step 3 superlative comparative and positive step 4 voice change voice we all know voice are of two kinds active and passive okay now one thing must be noted that the question setter will never ask you to change a sentence from simple to superlative or from simple to assertive it's impossible so the question setter will ask you to change from assertive to imperative assertive to interrogative or exclamatory to assertive like this or from step 2 simple to complex or complex to compound or compound to simple like that and in this part can be asked you can you can be asked from superlative to comparative or positive like this so there are four parts of changing sentences i should go one by one so at first as it is my first class on changing sentence i will i would like to go from step 1 from easier to difficult this part is very much easier because we know that this part is common for the students of class 6 7 and 8 as well but this is an uncommon part for the students of class 6 7 and 8 this is actually 
prescribed for the students of 9, 10 and SSC, HSC level. So today we will go, we will proceed from step 1. Now one thing should be mentioned that from step 1, assertive sentence are of two kinds, affirmative and negative. One question is very much common from this part from affirmative to negative or from negative to affirmative this is very much common you will you will find one mark from this part only from this part affirmative to negative or negative to affirmative so today i will try to show you how to change an affirmative sentence into negative there are so many rules i will start from the beginning i will go by the preliminary rules okay let's start step 1 step 1 means from as affirmative to negative affirmative to negative affirmative to negative a double f i r affirmative to negative rule one if in a, the first rule is if in an affirmative sentence there is only or alone you can change it into negative by following some rules fixed rules if only if only indicates a person then you have to write none but affirmative negative if in an affirmative sentence only or alone indicates a person then if you want to change it into negative you have to write and if it indicate a, indicates a person you have to write none but instead of only or alone at the same time rule number two or sub rule number two actually we have rule number in rule number one so it should be said rule one by one or one by two person none but but if it indicates thing thing something that means nothing but but if it indicates age or number then we have to use none not more than or not less than okay i think this rule is clear but we have to give some example for your better understanding person none but thing nothing but very sorry nothing but an age or number not not more than or not less than so example uh, only he is fit for the work only he is fit for the work it's an aff affirmative sentence so if you want to turn it into negative there is a only the word is only our rule was only if there is a only and if it indicates a person then we have to use none but instead of instead of only or alone so there is only there is an only the word only and it is indicating a person only he is fit for the work that means only is indicating a person so instead of this word only we will use none but none but and the rest part will remain unchanged that means the answer will be none but he is fit for the work i am not writing this part he is fit for the work we will only we will change only into none but because it is indicating a person so let's go to next example next example means if it indicates a thing i like only cricket i like only cricket that means here is only is indicating a thing cricket is a thing it's not a person that is why I will write I like what should I write thing nothing but I like instead of only 
nothing but nothing but cricket now the last part age or number if it indicates if only indicates age or number that case we have to use not more than or not less than anyone not more than or not less than age or number he is only 8 that means only is indicating a number or the age of him he is only 8 that means he is 8 years old so that case instead of only we will have to use not more than or not less than any one of them so in examination we will write any one of them public means any one of them same all the same he is not more than eight okay this was actually the rule rule number one let's go to rule number two i think this rule is very much clear the rule of only is clear now rule number two rule number two must rule number two the rule is must cannot but must or have to these two words are all the same instead of must or have to we will write cannot but while we want to turn an affirmative sentence into negative okay let's go with some example example number one we must die must die instead of must if you want to turn it into negative we have to use cannot but we cannot but die okay but here one thing must be noted that we can use also cannot help instead of must or have to we can use cannot but or cannot help but if we here is a difference in case of cannot help there is a difference the difference is we cannot help dying why after cannot help you have to add ing with the verb but after cannot but you must not change the verb the verb will remain all the same this is the actually this is actually the difference now i have used must in a sentence but there is a question can arise that what would be in case of have to no problem if the sentence was i have to i have to go now that case i should write i cannot but go now if you want to use cannot help no problem that case your answer will be i cannot help going now okay i think this rule is clear let's go to rule number three rule three very very important a rule rule three two plus adjective plus two if the structure is like that then if you want to change it into negative you have to write so adjective that these are actually the structure so let's go with some example for blood for your clarification example one the man is too weak to work okay the answer would be the structure is like that two adjective two so the man the man is instead of two i have to use so weak weak 
instead of second two we have to write that the man is so weak that now according to tense and person you have to use cannot oblique could not could not now as it is in present tense i have to use cannot why he the man the pronoun of the man is he cannot present tense that is why i wrote cannot he cannot walk but if the tense is in past tense let's see see an example if it is like that uh, the load was too heavy h a v y heavy to carry that case the load was instead of to so heavy will remain unchanged instead of this to to that that who cannot carry it here the subject here the person is actually not clear that is why i can use i he she the person anything so the load was so heavy that he or i as it is in past tense so we will write could not could not carry okay this was rule number 3 let's go to rule number 4 this rule is rule number 4 is very important rule number 4 is very important as soon as no sonar hat okay this is actually the structure if there is as soon as you have to write no sonar hat instead of as soon as let's go to an example example number 1 as soon as the teacher came we became silent as soon as the teacher came we became silent this is actually the structure of affirmative sentence if you want to change it into negative then instead of as soon as instead of as soon as you have to write no sonar had no sonar had the teacher the teacher here came is the past tense but as i have used had so this verb will be controlled by this auxiliary verb had after had we know after have has had shall have will have we have to use the past participle form of the verb so come the, as soon as the teacher came it is past form the past participle form is come came come that means it would be come a no sonar had the teacher came came come came come instead of this comma there was actually a comma as soon as the teacher came the comma will be vanished and instead of this comma i have to use a conjunction here i have to use a conjunction and that is then conjunction is then no sonar had the teacher came then t h a n sometimes the students make mistake while writing the spelling of then they sometimes write t h e n actually it will be absolutely wrong here is a comparison between two times no sonar had the teacher here the two here two works are going on the teacher came and we became silent there are two works here is a work and here is also a work the teacher came and we became silent that means there is a comparison between two works that is why we will write then t h a n that means in case of comparison not after that then means t h e n then means after but this then is a 
comparison between two words no sooner had the teacher came then we this part will remain unchanged we became became silent okay this rule is very very important i think this rule is clear let's go to rule number 5 rule 5 rule 5 and to show you another important rule and this this rule is a little bit larger than the previous ones okay look at some sentences changing affirmative to negative uh, many not a not a few this one is affirmative this one is negative many instead of many you have to write a few little a little sorry many now a few a few we will write not many little much instead of much not a little not a little a little not much not not much these are actually the rules these are actually the negative words actually many instead of many we can turn it into not a few if you want to turn an affirmative sentence into negative so many instead of many we shall write not a few instead of a few we can write not much instead of much we can write not a little and finally instead of a little we can write not much let's go with some example first one i have many books that means many instead of many i have to write not a few just this word will be changed that means i have not a few books actually these are countable that is why many but if this is uncountable then the sentence will be changed like this uh, there is there is much water in the pond much water uncountable that is why much instead of much we will write not a little so the answer would be there is not a little water in the pond rule number five let's go to rule number six and final rule for today rule number six remember we are transforming from affirmative to negative these rules are eligible for affirmative to negative final rule, rule number six rule six rule six is sometimes we use opposite words in while doing affirmative into negative opposite words this rule is actually very much huge there are so many sentences there can be so many sentences i am just showing three or four important sentences if i think this the name of the, the headline of the rule can be given as using opposite word opposite words so there are so many opposite words so uh, there can be a huge amount of examples example number one the house is cheap the house is the house or the hotel the hotel is cheap cheap means not valuable or not costly so i have to know the opposite word of cheap so if i want to turn into negative this sentence into negative the answer should be the house is the 
हाउस इज नॉट इंस्टेड ऑफ चिप वेल्युएबल और कॉस्टली वेल्युएबल और कॉस्टली द अपोजिट वर्ड ऑफ चिप इज वेल्युएबल और कॉस्टली एग्जाम्पल नंबर टू आई शेल रिमेंबर यू आई शेल रिमेंबर यू द अपोजिट वर्ड ऑफ रिमेंबर इज फॉर गेट आई शेल नॉट आई शेल नॉट फॉर गेट यू I shall remember you. That means I shall not forget you. Last example. I have mentioned earlier that there are so many examples in this rule because opposite words. There are pages of opposite words. There are numerous opposite words. So uh, it's quite impossible to finish all examples. I am just showing the way. I am showing. I am just showing the rule. Then you have to practice more and more. The more you practice, the more you understand or more you learn. Example number three and final last example. Ah, uh, if I say um, Tamim, Tamim is a dynamic player. So, if any student doesn't know the opposite word of dynamic, so he or she cannot be able to turn this sentence into negative because you have to know as know so many words for this. rule using opposite word that means you have to know the opposite word of the given word dynamic dynamic means the player who plays if anybody uh, enjoys the cricket shorts of tamim then anybody can easily understand what a stylistic player tamim ikbal is dynamic play that dynamic means tamim ikbal can play cricket by moving from one place to another he cannot he cannot stay motionless in any fixed place that is why he is called dynamic that means the opposite word of dynamic can be sluggish uh tamim ikbal tamim is not an easiest way is also here dynamic the opposite word of dynamic can be used undynamic but the actual opposite word is tamim is not a sluggish i'm sorry sluggish means lazy that means not a lazy or sluggish s l u w g i s h so lazy and sluggish are all the same or dynamic instead of dynamic i can write undyna make play oh one thing here must be noted one thing if there is tamim is a very very dynamic player if there is a word very instead of very you have to use instead of very you have to use at all at the at all at the last part of the sentence i repeat the rule if there is a word like very tamim is a very dynamic player then the answer will be if there is not very that means tamim is not a lazy sluggish or dynamic player but if there is very then you have to use at all instead of the word very this is actually the rule so i have shown six rules there are 10 or 15 rules in your book if you open your book uh you will find some more rules but uh, it is not possible for any person to finish such a big topic that means changing sentences from affirmative to affirmative to negative as there are so many rules i i have tried to show you some important rules that are very much common and you will get these sentences in your examination as well so you have to practice the the rest rules there are so many rest rules uh, that i couldn't discuss here so i think uh, i have shown the way of practicing and the way of making an affirmative sentence into a negative sentence i uh, wish you uh, to meet you in my next class till then uh, stay home stay safe thank you so much